me. Wait, who's the guy in the right? Are you all me? About fidgeting time, you figured out that out, you fizzing dimple. Excuse me. Is that Billy? Did this filtering computer just censor me? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Billy, how'd you come back to life? Oh, <laughs> it's the character from Ill. Oh, it's the people from the other uh, fun games that I've joined. That's after disease, anyway. That was the first fun game I ever did. The first fun game I ever got. The Jacksepticeye and Million Subscriber YouTube Party game. I don't know. It was awesome. It was really fun. And it was, it was in 3D as well, which is an even harder thing to do. This is the best moment of my life. I can't remember what voices I gave you guys. Jack, you're a lovely person, but I think one of you is more than enough. Yeah, I think I agree. I do. Also, I should mention, before I go any further into this game, that I met some of the people who made this game. They came out to the signing at PAX East. Thank you guys, you guys were so lovely. And it was really, really nice to meet you guys and just talk to you about the game and hear where you came up with the ideas for stuff and everything like that. It was awesome. You guys were so nice and they're at the end of the signing, so I got a long time to actually talk to you. It was wonderful, it was lovely. So we just ran into your games, merchants. Mind telling us what they were doing losing cluster truck? If you think I can exert any amount of control over them, you've got another thing coming. Well, they did drop me into a pit of lava. They're out of my control, Jack. But if you're interested, I can try to talk to my own Billy about not bugging you. Was he dead? Yes, that's why I can control him. It's easy to set a corpse to do something. Ah, I remember you, the snarky Jack. Someone has to be. So these are all different states of being. You are like the coolest version of me. It's so awesome to be able to talk to you. I don't know, man. Nothing is cooler than the real thing. Although, you're a bit of a letdown. Damn, harsh blood. You and I know that Billy is the enemy. You saw what he did to all our friends in my game. Don't bring me into this. Your Billy was a psychopath. I didn't infect anyone. Still, I'd be careful if I were you, Jack. Keep a close eye on Billy. He might still prove his latent evilness. Already on it, man. Ha! My, my game's plot actually came true. So this is the, the 2D, like... Ah, uh, what, what do I call it? It's like a little bobby animation, kind of. Um, it was a pixel acting. It was really, really cool. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm stuck in my computer, just like you were. Wait, does this mean you never escaped? I mean, technically, I always lived in your computer, so I escaped the computer within the computer. Here we go again. <laughs> I don't believe my neck in that voice. Ah! Listen, Jack, if you need my help, I'll help you in any way I can. The community already saved me once. I won't let them suffer in the computer if I can help it. I'm not sure they're suffering. Not exactly. In fact, it's probably more like being asleep, I'm assuming. Yes, but even so, they need, be, they need to be free. And also, you're really lucky you're not my Billy. I'm getting such warm welcomes from all your counterparts. We're always happy to support you, Jack. Weren't you called Sean in your game? Oh, yeah. Well, we're right here supporting you, Sean. Thanks. Keep being a boss, Jack. 10-4. Always am. I, I don't know where this version of me is from. What the beep are you doing talking to me? Jeez, you're a bit explosive. Of course I'm explosive. I'm being fabricating censored by your computer all because of this little apple pie. <laughs> I think I'm glad for the censor with this guy. What the fawn did you just say to me? Yeah, he's kind of the reason Evie even installed it. She and Bobby didn't want me learning from him. Well, uh, nice to meet you, Jack to the future Jack. That's who it was. Heavily autocorrect the grumbles. <laughs> Damn, Jimmy Buffett, that guy was mad. Hey, so ceilings are really overrated. You should just ignore them whenever you see them. Subtle. So, how are you guys doing? Where have you been? Looks like all your limbs are intact, so it couldn't have been too bad. Horror games. Plural. <laughs> wow, and you're still alive? Barely. We've been busy while you were gone. How so? We were teaching ourselves how to make baked Alaska. Why do they call it dessert you can set on fire baked Alaska? From baked Arizona. It's much hotter. <laughs> now we have a new project, creating baked Arizona. My kitchen may never recover. Boo-hoo! Kitchens are for wusses! Real Jack will go out and grill a bear over a campfire in the middle of the woods! Strong! <laughs> I love his face, but undying, it's a huge problem! Don't be ridiculous! You've seen horror movies! Nobody ever looks up! Did you not see Jack and his friends standing right there, listening to, to your entire conversation? Whatever you do, don't look up, Jack! Just don't! Why not? You'll die! And it'll be horrible! We wouldn't want that, would we, Papyrus? We really, really wouldn't want it to happen to our dear, merciful friend! Here's the key, office. Thank you. I really hope finding it this time wasn't as bad as it was last time. It was, it was worse. My face is all gummed up with garbage nonsense. What are we going to do? Well, it depends on who you ask. I think the first one again in a heartbeat. <laughs> See? <laughs> and you brought a friend. Office! Uh, yeah. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think. And the dying papyrus, I love you too. And I ship you too so hard. Hey, hey, hey. None of that, okay? There'll be no shipping in the house. The outside for ships. Inside for pets. That's short for people. Keep that in mind. What? <laughs> what? You too? Both of you? I'm really lost right now. Undying and papyrus are the OTP. I've never met anyone who ships them other than myself. Me neither. Oh, I'm sorry. That's probably pretty rude to say in front of you two. <laughs> your computer is your story. Tell it however you want. Yeah, but cool to know. That means Alphys and I have some someone to double date with. Even if that someone includes another version of me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds like a fun date. Of course you would like it, Alphys. Two Undying's all to yourself. It's the dream, dream threesome. It's the dream song. That's what a dream threesome is from now on. I know what you're thinking. Get back in the trash, Alphys. <laughs> I never left. Same, fam. I think it's kind of weird to pair up people you know in person, even if you only just met them today. So you're saying you wouldn't go out with Frambo? Uh, what? No, shut up! I think I have a new OTP. So, um, <laughs> the next key? Well, you guys are doing great so far. We just need the last hydrous version key. You still can't get the firewall down? No, seems to have mutated. Whoever this boss is did their homework. I can't do a, a thing to it. Well then, what sort of dangerous fields will we be facing this time? Will we be catapulting over the ancient vaults of Alaska? Over the burning fire pits of the Sahara, maybe? I can't tell. Whatever it seems to have a looping signature to it. Other than that, I can't get a good read on it. Best to be prepared for anything it might throw you away. Haha! <laughs> the snowy tundras of the Alpines! I'm on it. Looping signature? Seems to, to be a game that resets itself a lot. I wonder what that could be. 
We won't know until we find out. Hopefully it doesn't reset itself because we die all the time. Oh my god, I'm so sorry you had to witness that. My Jesus, okay, police! No, stay outside! Well, thanks for all your help, office. Now, onward, team! Wait, no, not team. Gang? Comrades? Posse! Ooh, we're a posse after guy. Posse after guy. That sounds good. I like that. Okay, posse after guy. Let's roll out, like the Autobots. All right, moving on. See you later, lads. See you later, fellas. Okay. Bye, everyone! Well, see you guys. Wait, I have something for you. Do you? What is it? Don't be a shit passport. Don't be a shit passport. Papers, please. Oh, I gotta know this. I see. Just, oh, because I was the one in the booth. Going by and I didn't let you in. I see. Okay, potato man, just let me into my room. Very bold move, trying to enter your room with such confidence. But I still can't let you in. I think this might be revenge for all the times you denied him access into Glory Greatest! Where's that in caps? Huh? You don't just say Glory Greatest country. Glory Greatest are stopped. You don't say that. You say you want to get rid of Glory Greatest. But he was always my favorite. Ah! <laughs> Come back with passport. Entry ticket and vaccination records. Never thought this guy would be such a stickler for the rules. And before you go, take this. A potato? You need food for your journey. Okay, but a potato? It is vitally important. Glory to our stuff. Employee number 427's job was simple. This is already difficult. He his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, I get it. and in what order. This is what employee number 427 did. Wait, hold on a moment. Cut the music. You're not Stanley. Who the hell are you? I'm Jack! Why are there four of you? When did I ever indicate that this was a multiplayer game? No, no, not here. <laughs> not there. Do I just stick? Ah, oh, damn it. Fine, very well. Who are you? It's me! It's Jack boy! Hi, nice to meet you. Um, I'm Jack. 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 Oh, no, 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 I can't. I can't call you Jack. Jack's a rubbish name. Jack is not a hero's name. Bitch! What? Jack is the name of a man who slaughters streetwalkers in 19th century London. That is true, yeah. There's a lot of Jacks. Jack is the name of a financially challenged boy who disobeys his mother, climbs a beanstalk and steals from a giant. Yes, a fucking true national treasure and a hero. Jack is not a hero. I'm, I'm gonna jump inside this game and kill you. I mean, sometimes I go by Sean. Or as every single person who ever delivers me food or collects me in like an Uber or something calls me Scene. Sean. Oh, Sean, Sean, I could live with a name like Sean, but Jack? Uh, go on, go on, I want to see how this ends. I will find a more suitable name for the protagonist of this adventure. How about Billy Bing Bong? <laughs> I like that one, that's a hero's name. You are not Stanley. <laughs> and I'm not saying you're not Stanley, I'm saying you are not Stanley. In parentheses, <laughs> hyphen, in between. You're very fancy, you look great in the business cards. Ugh, forget this, let's just go through the stupid door. Okay, but what about the compute? Never again, we're going to refer to you as not Stanley in the three bears, but in the efforts to avoid confusion, I think we shall rename you all. Are you going to keep talking throughout this entire section? Not Stanley, <clears throat> Stanley Jr., Mariella, and you, mm, I think you should be called Finn. You rather look like Finn. Finn's a good one. Oh, wait, who's, who's who? Oh, I'm not Stanley and Billy Stanley Jr. Is that what it is? Mariella and Finn. Those are good names. Stanley Jr. <laughs> not a word. <laughs> poor Billy. I mean, fuck that guy, but poor Billy. Do you smell anything coming out of this room? Or is it just me? It smells like Chinese food. It smells more like Vietnamese food to me. How do you tell the difference based on the smell? Billy, that's racist. How is it racist? They have similar cuisine. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> They're really making me question the decisions I've made in life. Oh, dude, I do that every single day. <laughs> that is, questioning my position and my choices in life is my life. That's all my existence is. Amazing! I love my life! Okay, are these doors? No. I like the music here. Boom, ba, boom, ba. It's locked. Why would they lock the door? I don't know, Cliff. Maybe because they don't want your four potent strangers walking in on them? That's an oddly specific motive. Jack, why? Just why? I guess cookies are delicious. That just about sums it up. Wait, what are we talking about right now? Like, content provider, like, subscriber. As the cycle goes, that's what they're gonna change the same to in about 20 years. Ah, not, not like father, like son. Ah, like entertainment person, boy, and subscriber watcher do. There's a little sign in the door. It says, I'm a little sign. Fuck off. Looks like a legally binding contract. Weird. By entering this room, you agree to blah, blah, blah. Wait, what? We've all rights to photographs taken of you in this room with or without your knowledge or permission. Sounds like VidCon. Oh, so basically it's like going to a convention. Even the hippopotamus clause? What happens at PAX stays at PAX. Okay? I'm very poignant you have this in here now after just coming back from PAX. I have got to go to some of these conventions. Or I have Game of Thrones to go to these conventions. The boss is nothing. Hmm. Is this referring to the hacker on your computer or the boss of his company? What if it's the same person? What if it's a mob boss? What if it's the set of... What if he set the Weirish Mafia on you? The Wireish Mafia on you? I get it. Pretty sure there's no such thing as the Wireish Mafia. The Wireland Irish Mafia. Wireland. Oh, there is. We got banished to another computer. Okay, that's good. Instead of the IRA, we have the YRA. The YRA. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> wow, this model is ancient. It doesn't even have text-to-speech. Way to make it feel old, Billy. Okay, you guys are very silent. We should sneak in and attack somewhere. The door! As the doors go, this one is... Uh, Adorable. Oh, end me. Why do you enjoy tormenting me so? Oh, you're so selfish, Billy. Anyone who's paid to 
wacky wheels enjoys tormenting you. It's true. That's what we do. Tormenting you and making Steve the winner. This door made out, is made out of balsa wood. I could probably punch right through it. But it's locked for a reason, so I won't. What's your deal with locked doors? Well, in horror games, locked doors usually hide, well, horrors. Oh yeah, because the Sunny Parable is one of the great horror games of our generation. Real sure I like Billy. He's a big ball of sass. No, my kid, I love him. I love the sass. Keep it up. It's eerily quiet in there. I guess whatever's in there is dormant. Is it illegal to kill a version of myself? Like a fake fictional digital version of myself? Because that's what I want to do right now. Murder needs to happen. Right here, right now. Why must you hurt me in this way? Because hurting you in other ways would cause your game to become unplayably corrupted. Come on, Billy. That's common knowledge. Read the law of death permanent sometime. I told you all that! Jack, I think you're raising his digital blood pressure. Good! His blood will splatter farther. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how that works. Unless you chop off his arm. Hey, Jack, it's you! Why is it me? Because you're a dork! <laughs> Why? Why must you hurt me so? Ugh. Okay, well, I'm not good at coming up with stuff on the fly. It's okay, Billy. In these sorts of things, patience is key! <laughs> All I need to do now is yell thread the needle and we're, we're good to go. When faced with the impossibly grandiose decision of which way to go, not Stanley chose the left door on the left. Um, how dare you? I'm not picking your decision! That's all I in my life! You tell me to go left, I go right! You tell me to pick Chinese food, I pick Vietnamese food! You tell me not to yell, I yell louder! So which way should we go, red or blue? I feel like this is a test of our personalities, you know. Come to think of it, even though I just went through a death-defying situation with all of you, I don't really feel like I really know you all that well. Well, to be honest, we haven't really had any spare time to talk to each other. It's just kind of been from one thing to another. Hmm. We should change that. Well, first, we should probably pick a door. I remember in game theory that psychologically, the color red is associated with competition and action, whereas blue would be more associated with intuition and puzzles. So, we're either going to be shot to death or be destroyed in the game of chess. That's wizard's chess. I think it has something more to do with personalities. You know what? Never mind. Wouldn't it make more sense for this to be about obeying versus disobeying since the narrator specifically told us to go through the red door? Wouldn't it be more of a challenge not to go through the red door? Maybe he should have told us to go through the blue. But it's so simple. All I have to do is divine from. All I have to do is divine from what I know of the narrator is he. Is he the sort of man who would put the bad ending behind the door he endorses or the door that he doesn't? Now, a clever man will put the ending behind the door he doesn't endorse, but you would know that only a great fool would do what they were told by a disembodied narrator. We are not great fools, so we clearly cannot choose to go through the blue door. But he must have known we were not great fools, he would have counted on it. So we clearly now choose the red door, so it's still 50 50 either way. I guess we could flip a coin. Also, Billy, Billy Big Nose over there, how much keeps the 20 words of last next time? Let's just pick one at random. Blue. I like blue. Plus, the developers of the game told me at the convention that they weren't going to spoil anything, but when a decision came up to pick blue, so I'm going to stick with them. Okay, can I click on that door? I forgot I could sprint. <laughs> and so, not Stanley arrived at the not meeting room employee lounge, complete with ugly blue carpet and broken soda machine. I ate two dollars and fifty cents. I was just trying to get a coke. Like a lion or a beverage? Hmm, I don't know, but I have the ice cold refreshing taste of a sick Dia Pepsi right here. They didn't have coke at the place I ordered from. Um, this kind of looks like The Office from. No, not The Office, like the show. The Office in Pop Sharon, how did you get a coke? Because she was broken. Oh, Sharon. What do you mean with a credit card? Not in this country, Sharon. Sharon! <laughs> It's official. He's cracked. All right, what's going on in room number blue? A whole lot of nothing. It's my house. Not Stanley triumphantly blundered into his boss's office to find that no one was there. Now he could play with his boss's secret keypad, but he'd never know that the combination was seven three two six. Oh, not Stanley. That's a clever, a clever thing to do. I like that sort of stuff because that's very fourth wall breaking. Because it's like you can hear the narrator narrating your own story, and the narrator always has more info than the people in the game. So he's giving me the info to be able to get through it. Ah, I like it. I like it a lot. The boss's office looks really different than it did in the original game. I guess whoever was in here last did some interior decorating? Yeah, looks different than the last time I was here too. I wonder if it merged with something. Like what? It kind of looks like your recording room. Yeah, it does. Oh well, maybe it happened when we when the apartment came here. Maybe it did. Weird. I've been seeing these around, they're kind of like septic eyes, but... Yeah, not quite. Weird. I wonder if the boss, if this boss guy has been leaving them, or we just have some graffiti artists with interesting tastes. Hmm. What? Tell you later. No, Jeffrey! Not the code, not Stanley. This is plain English. ABCs, one, two, threes. Seven, three, two, six. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Uh, oh, shit. Seven, three, two, let's go! In we go! Is anyone wondering if there's some kind of something weird kind of going on? Ah, of course not. Everyone gets sucked into the computer at least once. It's practically mundane at this point. I meant with the narrator. Well, he doesn't really sound like the narrator for my copy of the game. Mine either. It is an imposter! Okay, do we really need to start coming up with conspiracy theories? I'm just saying he's acting kind of weird. I guess I'm mostly concerned with why the boss's office looks so much like yours. Yeah, it is weird. I wonder if it has something to do with this boss guy who is preventing me from getting us all back. Oh, oh, I got it. Maybe it's you. No? Too obvious? That, that was my thought as well. Um, I'm pretty sure I'd remember sabotaging myself or sabotaging myself. No, no, hear me out. Okay, so, so maybe you're going to end up in oxen free, right? And you bang your head and go evil and go back in time, sabotage your past self. And we all just evaporate? Okay, okay, but that's just a theory. A game theory. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Whee! Bang, bang. That's a lot of number ones. Stanley found himself in a truly terrifying and chilling place. Oh no! Texas! <laughs> Even saying the name out loud gives me chills. 
filled to the brim with television monitors, upon which bearing the numbers of all the employees, and not Stanley being one of them. Ooh, which number am I? Not slightly embarrassed, but altogether the mysteries were beginning to build and compound to one satisfying and grandiose conclusion. It better! Why do we stop here? I don't know, maybe to press buttons? Do you do everything without thinking it through first? No, I think a lot of things through. Very seriously, like naming you Billy. You did that off the cuff. Well, what else do you think we need to do in this room? <laughs> I, I pretty much do everything off the cuff. There is absolutely no focus in me. There is no focus in what I'm doing. Everything is just instantaneous, in-the-moment thoughts all the time. But I know! What? Actually, I think Jack might be right. Might as well press those buttons and see what happens. That's a good way to go about dying. Okay. Nothing. Nothing happened. I can't press them again. Where to next? Back to the elevator, I guess. I think I saw a hidden button there that we might have activated. Who knows? Okay. Solid plan, Jeffrey. Solid plan. So, is anyone hungry? Yeah, I could go for some tacos. No, not really. Classic Jen. Exactly! It's so weird not to get hungry anymore! Is that why you've been talking about food this entire time? Don't think I haven't noticed. I'm just trying to remember a time where I had the comfort of eating delicious food. Like cookies. And cakes. And chips. Okay, so to you, chips are potato chips, right? To me, chips are fries. Which one are you talking about? It's very important for the deep lore of this game. Now I miss being hungry. What are you bring it up, Cliff? I was happy not noticing. Or is that I can call you? Jeffrey? Ah, Clifford. You're a lot different than the big red dog. I wonder what's over that way. Last time I saw one of these, there was definitely a good reason for being blocked off. Well, that just gives us more incentive to find out what's out there. I don't think running into danger is the best idea. Maybe it'll open up later on. Why is Jenny smarter than everyone here? Oh, uh, gosh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, put yourself down, Jenny. I'm glad you're a part of the Posseptic Eye. Or is it Posseptic Eye? Posseptic Eye. That's a good one. Ah, oh, thanks, Jack. So, if we're done being all sweet and friendly, can we just go back to the story? Okay, sure. This reminds me of Portal. Mind control facility. Okay, now it reminds me of inside. The mind control facility was too horrible for not Stanley to comprehend. Had he really been controlled this entire time? All his thoughts, his actions? This is like inside. That's, the, that's kind of the, the plot of inside. It's like how much choice do you really have as the character in a video game? And as you're going along, you think that you're stopping all these things and you're controlling what's going on. And then at the end, you merge with this big ball of goo. And then you're like, oh, that thing was controlling me this entire time. It's, it plays on, on what it is to be a gamer and a, a character in the game. Fantastic. Very meta. Okay, what are we doing? See a lot of buttons and a lot of switches. Let's start pushing. Okay, I can't push anything. How boring. Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> How about this one? I can't even pull that one. What the? What's going on? This is actually here before you die. I can't push anything else. Strange. Mind controls idle awaiting input. Not Stanley didn't have to worry about the on button because it was broken. Just like my heart. And she did it. Somehow, against all possible odds and expectations, not Stanley had freed everyone. It was a joyous, exuberant, classical example of a hero done well. Everyone would be free. No one would be told what to do, or what to think, or where to go. No one would have to pretend to be a narrator after being fired unfairly for something they didn't even do. <laughs> and our hero, not Stanley, bravely and proudly basking in the glow of whatever he did, freed everyone. Ah, uh, basking in the glow of a fate to white. He was, hearing. he was off on another bright adventure. What new mysteries of joy and wonder would await him beyond that glowing door? I don't fucking know. when that came out. So good! <laughs> How did you know the sound I make when I... Curious as to what happened, not Stanley left his office. What if I just stay here? What if I just stay here forever and ever and ever? Oh no. Do try to contain all of that excitement. Wow. I have been seeing this before! This is brand new information! Okay. All the exact same stuff. Huh. So what happens if we pick the red door now? Boom, 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 boom. Man, even at full speed. This is taking a long time. Stanley and his co-workers. Wait a minute, no, this really can't be right. I mean, I know we're going off the cuff as it is, what with the renewed stage after the freedom ending, but you really can't go anywhere if those doors aren't open. Mm. I'm going to have to look into this, hold on. Oh, good. More test subjects. It is Portal. What's that? Who are you? It's GLaDOS! No need to play dumb and bully 207. They ought to know what you've been up to this entire time. Aw, I want to know who did this voice. Did I meet the person who did this voice? Were you at the signing? No, I'm the narrator. That wasn't even a nice try. You don't sound anything like the narrator. More like a sound alike who's auditioning for Saturday Night Live. I want to know how you did that effect. That's badass. That's very, very accurate. Come on now, that was uncalled for. If you, got, if you actually got Elmer Klein to talk into that like, the way you did it, I think it would sound exactly like Lettuce. But I really must thank you. You've brought me more tough subjects, like I've asked for. So I suppose you're actually good at something. It's a little, you can hear a little bit of like the regular voice in there, but that's very, very good. You might want to introduce yourself, though. Seeing as you're going to be working with them more, it's best for them to get to know the real you. 
Mine's more for science, you monster. I... Yeah, you know what, she's right. I'm not actually the narrator. Surprise. Who are you? Shocking, I know. And you're not actually getting out of here. Gladys and I have teamed up to find and test subjects for the future of Aperture Science. Aw, do holes! For the present, seeing as we currently have no one to run through these tests, we're not too picky. Despite your obvious lack of intelligence, we are required to use what we have. So congratulations, you are all at the top of your group. By default. Yes! The two sweetest sounds in the English language! Default! 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 <laughs> she really needs to work on her motivational speeches. Anyway, I don't think we should spend too long out here. While there is no discernible passage of time here in the digital world, we do need to get a move on. The average human lifespan is a pathetically short 70 years or so. Even shorter in Billy's case. Billy's digital, he's not real, so that's fucking bullshit, so... Nah, I got him. Well, I mean, he does respawn, so I would think that actually makes his lifespan a lot longer. Oh, I like her. She shows potential. Actual potential. Not the kind that leaves you high and dry, having been overrun by a wave of disappointment. You sound like my parents. That being the case, I have exactly the teams that we need. We only have two functional tests at the moment. But I see now how to divide you up perfectly. <coughs> How's that? Wait a minute, hold on! The boss is never the boss is never the boss. <laughs> ah, that's a nice touch. Ah, shit. You did just separate us using a loading screen. Did you just separate us using a loading screen? That's why you read that sentence. Rude. I suppose we should record how long it takes you to go insane listening to the song. But that would be needlessly cruel. It would be more humane to throw you in the incinerator just outside the door. Uh, what that? I've never tested anyone before. <laughs> this should be fun. Okay, who even are you? I've never seen an employee 207 in any of my games as far as I can remember. You have seen me. But I guess you don't remember. Oh, you killed me though. Oh shit, they found out what I did last summer. Wait a minute, I've killed you? What game are you from? <sighs> I guess it's kind of hard to remember someone who's just one in a crowd. Party hard? Oh! All I was doing was partying innocently and then you murdered me. Or at least, you did when you finally noticed me. That wasn't me, dude! That was a different guy! I don't wear a mask, see? Okay, I'm sorry about that, but I mean, that is kind of the point of the game! Yeah, yeah it is. And yes, I know I'm supposed to die. <clears throat> it's a small role, but it's something. No, dude! You dying helps me win! We're in it together, buddy! I mean, you're on the drowning in your own blood end of it, but together, we can get the high score! And all I wanted was for my role to go off without a hitch. But it did! Your role was to die! But you almost didn't notice me in the tutorial level. Oh shit, am I being called out right now? It's a small role that I wanted to do right and you almost messed it up. So you're talking all this out on me? You're taking all this out on me because I almost didn't kill you? Well, not fulfilling your game role, or at least having a useless experience was kind of a blow to me, you know? It's like if Andrew WK didn't really party that hard. I ended up leaving my game to find one where I'd be more appreciated. That sounds like going turbo. Who? Oh, never mind, oh. I guess it doesn't matter. I forgot that there was voice acting for this part. <laughs> Point is, I went to work for Aperture Science, met a man named Stanley, boring guy. Long story short, I got fired for something I didn't even do. Did you get fired for not dying? But I managed to lure the narrator away with a cookie and took over his recording booth, so there's that at least. Okay, good job. Also, the narrator in the Stanley Parable is one of my favorite voices ever. I so wish I had a voice that was that absolutely pristine. That is, like, the perfect male vocal in my mind. It's it's deep, but not too deep. It has clarity, it has subtleness, it has smoothness, it has a posh British accent. Just sounds great. Apart from my own voice, of course, because that is the peak of human vocalization. Wait, you lured the narrator with a cookie? Never underestimate the power of fake goods around video game characters, Jack. He's not, he's a real man. He's a voice actor. Yes, well, as exciting as all this exposition and reveal is, I'm sure you're going to want to get to the test. No. This room wasn't designed to last, you know. Yes, but I was. Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose where you come from, most rooms are permanent. This particular room was designed to be disposable, left standing only for about 30 minutes after its creation. Oh, shit, and we're... <gasps> no time away from that! We had Aperture figured that with the amount of test subjects we were going through, sanitation was an issue. It was more cost-effective to create and destroy holding chambers when necessary, instead of sanitizing the old ones. Gross. Did I ever push buttons for that? Perhaps. So, Stanley worked for Aperture? Ooh, boy, that explains a lot. Anyway, seeing as this room was created about 29 minutes ago, you should probably head through the portal. Yeah, but what about that cake, though? Is it a lie? <laughs> Actually, had somebody shout that at me on the tour. Somebody yelled, the cake is a lie, at me when I was up on stage. That was the most bizarre experience ever. You might as well just come out and yell, meme, at me. Or just sit down and go, rock <laughs> It's funny, though, everyone laughed. I actually got a bit of a chuckle out of it myself, so who am I to say? Okay, let's, wait, save, okay. Let's save twice. Welcome to the Friction Inhibition Gel Test, or the FIG Test, mm. as some presumed clever scientists have called it. That's you, game developer, that's you. You called it that. You're calling yourself out. This music is awesome. Let me guess, lots of fruit puns came out of that, right? That's too easy. Those jokes are all low-hanging fruit. You didn't need the fruit part! Just black that off and say those jokes are all too low-hanging. Because it was already a fruit joke! Cliff Smedley, I will be sure to make a note in your file. Is that, is that somebody laughing in the background? Oh boy, I'm glad you're wrong. Are jokes not allowed? Mm, you aren't in trouble. I was just going to note that you believe you were clever. <laughs> Again. Next time I watch Coco.
go. You better believe that bad boy's coming up. Okay. Sure. Okay. I wasn't planning to, but okay. No, Jack, you see, this is how they get you. She's trying to be emotionally manipulative. She's trying to emotionally manipulate you into believing that, so you'll feel exactly the way she wants you to during this test. By the way, I should inform you that due to emotional complications, the aperture science with the companion tube cannot come in contact with the glacial white testing surface squares. Okay, but what if it does? It's also updated its online status. And it says that you are now officially its best friend. Oh man, that's a lot of commitment! Especially if it's not reciprocatory. Like if you say, uh, if you say, oh, you're my best friend, Jack, and then I'm like, oh, that's nice, thank you. But don't say it back, then I'm the dick. I'm the one who has testicles covering his eyes. Oh, let her manipulate you, Jack. I will be your beloved and faithful companion to this test. Oh, Cliff, don't leave me hanging. Platonically, my heart belongs to Taryn. Who? Oh, your girlfriend? Well, that's kind of a strong word. She's a girl, and she's my friend. And I really like her, but she's not my girlfriend. Oh, I hate to break it to you, Cliffy. She might be. I see you will. Maybe someday. Maybe she hasn't overlooked him for another handsome specimen. Then again, I'm honestly surprised that anyone would find either of you two. Viable candidates for coupleship. Okay, okay. Insulting my gameplay ability, that's fine. Insulting my intelligence, ah, it hurts. It's deep down, but I can live with that. Insulting my looks, how dare you? If you're not seeing these plus one by steps, I'm gonna punch a computer in the face. Not you, computer. You're good. Computer, make coffee. One day, I'm going to ignore that. Yep, just don't ignore that. All right, so that, that resets it. Well, just remember that in life, there are no such things as resets. Well, it seems like you haven't heard of something called falling down the stairs and hitting your head so hard you forget everything. That's a reset. We don't talk about Dave. He was a special case. Yeah, I'm even sorry about that guy. Well, I'm going to head off and see how the others are doing. Dave, man. Ooh, big oof. Oh, Minecraft damage sound. Hey, wait. And he's gone. Hope Jenny and Billy are all right. Uh, Jenny. I hope. Billy. Ah, uh, fuck okay. Okay, where are we getting this thing to? Over there. So we go bum bum. Ba 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 ba. <sighs> fuck. Okay, I guess we gotta start pushing. Let's see what happens. I'll just start this way. No, oh, I already fucked it up. <laughs> Nope, 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 sorry. Oh, God. I think you're insulting me. We've got some good dialogue in there, though, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, wait, I can walk on these squares. Huh. Okay, Smokey. Oh, Smokey the Bear. Haha, I'm onto this. I'm onto this. I already know the trick. Watch this. I'm not just hitting a cube around randomly, hoping that it will magically fall into place wherever it's supposed to go. Nuh-uh. Hey, I did it! Congratulations. It seems you've got the odds and completed this Ah, uh, not an audience of one, but an audience of lots! Uh, I don't know how many people are going to watch this, so I already knew. No, there's more than one, and more than one is lots! Listen, you can even hear his voice trembling from the adrenaline. Ah, oh, bless. Oh, no, I was just running. I had to check up on the others since you're up here. He's delirious with happiness for you. I can sense it. Thanks, man. Okay, now watch. Push the button nearest the door, and you may leave. Huh. Though leaving comes at the price of sacrificing one of your party members. Well, Cliff, it's been a blast, but I gotta leave you hanging, just like Sylvester Stallone did in that movie called Cliffhanger. Okay, bye! Please push the button and drop the cube into the incinerator. Oh, sorry, cute buddy. You're gonna have to go down. No, no. I know you have eyes, and I know you want to cry, but don't weep, mon frere. It's okay. I will treat you nicely. Plus, you have a box of tissues inside you, so if you cry, just reach inside your own head. Dab, dab. It's all better. Okay, let's move this off you. Okay, moving on. I would say that terseness and elegance were never so delicately woven together as in your statement just now. But they were, and it's not nice to lie. Hey. But he is right. In order to continue, you will need to sacrifice me. That's no problem. Done, done, done. Let's just, uh, cliff. After everything you've done for us, little cube, I'm gonna really miss you. Please don't hold it against us. Cliff, you just said earlier, this is her manipulating how we feel. No, just Cliff, I'm fine. Call us what you like. Moron, gobshite, big old fallopian tube face. Haha, <laughs> it matters not. Wait, what? Fallopian tube face, that's a weird one. Why would you call me that? That's just bizarre. Bye, cube! We still finished your puzzle. Well, then, proceed to the next room. I'll be with you shortly, seeing as the other team may be about to finish their puzzle. Ah, oh, but they have Jenny on their team. Jenny, not only is she smart, but her, her smarts rival her beauty. Oh, with her long, beautiful, blonde, flowing hair. What's this talking about? What happens after that? Try not to let the newness and excitement wear off just yet. It makes the gears more bearable. Noted. Gears? Okay, away we go. Away we go! Earlier! My name is Jack 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 All the way to fucking victory town. All the way. Think it's gonna be a winner every now and then. I believe in you. I believe. I believe in you. I believe. I believe in Steve. It's Steve. I can't do it. It's all auto-corrected. Auto-tune, not auto-corrected. I'm not a text message. And that's our first priority now. I know, but Jack and Cliff, I'm really worried about them. I am too. But do you think we'd be a little more resilient? I mean, do we have to go find those two jokers? Really? Why do we keep getting separated? Are you really that disappointed to be stuck with me? Are you kidding? But if I could have been stuck with, it was you, the least annoying person. Thanks. No, honestly, it really is a relief. Ah, uh, you're awake. Time to do some testing, I suppose. Unless you would like to call out sick. I would not recommend this. Die, 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 die,
singing during the tour as well. Either singing all the way before I came out, What Is My Life, or just chanting PMA. It was outrageously cool. So far, the known side effects have included, but are not limited to, muscular pain and weakness, headache, loss of vision, loss of hearing, loss of vision and hearing, minor internal bleeding, major internal hemorrhaging, um, growth of a third nostril, palpitations, constipation. Are palpitations like, am, am I going to go all like wrinkly and try and control the dark side of the force? I mean, that's a pretty good percentage for instantaneous and painless death. I would take that any day over Swinebola. I could name a handful of things on that list that I've experienced before. Pass. Good. Then I think you'll like what I have in store for you just outside that portal. Why don't you take a look? Hmm, I guess I should. But not right now, because I am going to leave this episode here. I'm just going to sit here and sing all the way on repeat for four hours. But it's getting good. I think we're rounding out towards near the end. I think there's like one or two more episodes left in it, but still really good so far. I like it a lot. I like, like there's an like, insane amount of games in it. Such a myriad of references and stuff. Not only how there's like, like it's easy to put a whole bunch of references together if you just write them out, but you've woven them very delicately into the way the game actually works. All the references and all the plot points and everything all feel like they fit in place where they should. And the fact that you've managed to put games that are similar to each other with each other and managed to make them a cohesive narrative together in the same space is crazy. Like Sandy Parable and Portal go so well together. Uh, a lot of people think about that, but the way you've actually put them together and made them flow together is really, really well done. Like, this is so far beyond just a fan game at this point. This is actually just really, really well made. And I'm very, very flattered. So, thank you guys again. But